Hello, welcome back to another episode of When You're Bored. I'm Kevin and I'm bored. And today I'm gonna make a side table for my bed side. And, <laughs> and you can too when you're bored. So let's just get right into it. And that's it. I mean, it's a nice table. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to Cut. like and subscribe. What? What's going on? I made the table. No, 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 no. This is when you're bored. You're supposed to overcomplicate it. You know, be creative. I don't know what you want me to do here. It's a, it's a table. It's a, you put things on it. It's not the Mona Lisa. Oh my God. Uh, is, can you, can you make it float? How? Or, or fly? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, make it light up. They love when it lights up. It's, it's not a lamp. Ooh, ooh, you can make it look like it's like melting or like like dripping everywhere. You know. Fine. So first, I ran a fluid simulation in Blender that was physically accurate because I wanted to get that drippy table look, and I did it that way because I thought it would look more natural. Like I didn't want to have to hand model it and I cut out a space for the wooden circle in the middle. So the goal here is for me to kind of make like a ring that I can attach to the table that already exists and kind of blend it to make it look like it's one piece. So I decided to 3D print the ring in like 12 different pieces and each piece took like five hours. But tell me these time lapses aren't satisfying. Okay, sorry, that's enough. So I glued the pieces together and started attaching them to the table with super glue. And when you 3D print something, it comes out with like these super small layers. So if you want it to be smooth, you gotta sand. But I wanted mine to be super smooth. So I actually covered it all in wood filler and then sanded that. And wood filler is perfect for something like this because it fills any like crevices and smooths the surface. And once I had it all printed, I guess I like miscalculated somehow because there was this gap, but I printed a little filler piece to kind of fix it. And it just became a process of gluing and filling and sanding, and doing it all again. And then it was finally time to paint, but I had to prime it first. And the good thing about this filler primer is that you can sand it and it'll smooth the surface even more. And now it was time to paint. And after all those hours, it's finally done. So let's check it out. So I'm hoping it might inspire you to think outside the box. It's cool being surrounded by things that you made, you know? So when you're bored. If you like this video, please help me out and like and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome, it's fun. And if you've been here, I appreciate it so much. Sorry I'm taking so long with the videos. I've been really uh, busy trying to make my mustache connect to my beard, but I have a bunch of new ideas now that I'm back at school. So hopefully there will be some more content soon. Thanks for watching. Peace. Cut. Let's go. Let's go. That's why you get the big bucks right there. Good job, everyone.
Okay. Oh. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Did your leg hit your other leg? <laughs>